Rawr, rawr. Ah, run away. Hey, bye guys. I'm getting out of here. I can fly. Oh, hey guys. Welcome back to Museum Do It at Home. It's me, Kelsey. And today we're going to be making dinosaur fossil dough. If you want to find out how, stick around. I'll show you. Okay guys, you're ready to get your ingredients together. So first thing you're going to need are some measuring cups, a bowl, something to mix with, and you're gonna need used coffee grounds, cold coffee, flour, salt, an airtight container to store your fossil dough in. I'm going to use a Ziploc bag, but you can also use a Tupperware container. And a tray, so that way you can knead all of your dough on. And then you're also going to need a dinosaur friend. I have a couple here to choose from, so we'll get to choosing in just a little while. For your coffee, your coffee grounds, and your flour, it's all going to measure one cup. And for your salt, it's going to measure one half cup. Once you have all your ingredients, you're ready to get started. Once you have everything measured out, you're ready to add it to your bowl. I'm gonna add all of my dry ingredients first and mix it together so it combines, so that way there's no clumps and there's no big patches of flour or big patches of coffee grounds. I want it to look like one big mixture. So I'm gonna throw in my one cup of flour, my one cup of coffee grounds, and my half a cup of salt and mix it all together. Oof, now that I've gotten this all mixed up, it looks like I might need a bigger bowl. I know. Here it is. Let me just pour this in here. Oh my goodness. Looks like I still need to mix it a little bit. But once you've got all of your ingredients combined, we're ready to start pouring our coffee in. So you'll need to measure it out and then start pouring it in really, really slowly. You wanna have at least a cup of cold coffee, although you might end up only using a half cup. It just depends on how your dough ends up combining together. So I'm gonna add a little bit at a time and start mixing my dough up. And I want my dough to have the same consistency as cookie dough. So I'm gonna get to pouring and mixing together until I have that cookie dough consistency that I'm looking for. So see right here, I'm only about halfway through my cup but I'm getting to that good consistency point here. So I might be done adding in my coffee and ready to add it to my tray so I can start kneading. Now that you've mixed everything together, you're ready to get started on your kneading. So I'm gonna take my dough out of the bowl here and slap it onto my tray. When you're kneading it, you wanna make sure you're kneading it together and really pushing it into itself and this is gonna help it to, um, to harden and get a really good shape. If you end up accidentally adding too much coffee to your mixture and it's too wet, you can definitely add more flour in to make sure that you get that good cookie dough consistency. The coffee grounds are really to add more color than anything else, so if you need a thicker um, dough, definitely add more flour to it. So once you've got your dough at a good consistency and you've been kneading it for a while, you're gonna start pinching off some pieces to put your dinosaurs in. So let's see. I'm gonna get a piece like this, put it into a ball, and smash it down. So it's flat and open, and now I have to pick a dinosaur. Hmm. Which one should I pick? I think I'm gonna pick this guy. In there. And we're close him up. There we go. Now this fossil is ready to dry so I can open it later. Let's make a couple more because I have a lot of dough. 
If you at home only want to make one fossil dough fossil, then I would say maybe cut the recipe in half so you don't have as much dough at the end. Once you have all of your dinosaurs that you want rolled up into your fossil dough, we're ready to put our fossils into our airtight containers. I'm going to use this plastic bag, but like I said before, you can definitely put them in Tupperware. I'm gonna close up this bag and I'm gonna leave it to harden and it's gonna take a couple hours, so you have to be patient. Whoa! Hey guys, it's Kelsey from the future. I just came by to tell you that through our experimentation, I found out that the best way to use the fossil dough so that way it breaks open is to leave it out on the counter so it hardens. But if you'd like to use your fossil dough over and over again to play with, make sure you put it in that plastic bag. I gotta go back to the future. I'll see you guys later. Bye! We'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey guys! Welcome back. I think we're gonna go ahead and break into this really cool fossil that I have. I don't even remember who I put inside of this fossil, so it's gonna be a surprise all around. Are you ready? Wow. Looks like I put a Brachiosaurus in here, a long neck dinosaur. Let's keep cracking it open and see what we got. I can see where the tail was inside of my dinosaur fossil. And I can see the shape of the dinosaur. Let's get some of this, some of this fossil dough off of my dino here. That was really cool. I like that I can see where the tail was and I can see the texture of the skin inside. Might be a little bit hard to see. That was so cool. Another way you can use this fossil dough is to make imprints in it with seashells or with your dinosaurs. Just press it onto the top and leave a print. And when it dries, it'll look super cool. Thank you so much for joining us here for another Doozium DIY video. I'll see you next time. Bye.